Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Athena's here with us today as well. Say hi, Athena. Hello. So today is going to be very interesting and a little juicy. We are going to be answering those questions that I have received from all you mamas on my channel. Thanks again for subscribing. I have shipped out some presents for all of you guys that are mamas that did comment on my posh peanut video, so you should be receiving those soon. Um, but today is going to be fun because I am answering some crazy questions that you all might not want to hear, but they're so good for those mamas that are interested. So yeah, our lives have been very interesting nowadays. I posted a video like a couple weeks ago how we moved into a new house. We moved again. So many incidents have been happening. Poor Athena has to <laughs> go through all of this, but it's okay. It's all right. Life is great and there's always an uphill just remember that but subscribe to our channel if you are new because we are having some giveaways next week let's get started on the video and i will make more videos about what's going on in our lives for you guys um so the first question i got is how do contractions feel and how do you know you are having them at that moment so for me, I actually didn't realize that my water broke when it did because it wasn't a lot. So when I was having those contractions, I didn't know they were actually them. I thought they were Brex and Hicks contractions. So I was like so nervous. I waited an hour after I started feeling them, called the doctor and they were like, you need to come in just in case. I was 34 weeks when I was starting to have them, so it was really scary. But you'll know when you're having those contractions, they're very powerful, they get worse as they go on. It's so worth it in the end, so don't be scared, but you'll know when they happen because there's nothing else like it. So the next most asked question that I did get is how does birth feel? And birth is, I don't know how to explain it, like it didn't really hurt that bad because I only pushed like 12 times she was out in 12 minutes literally and I was so amazed like it didn't hurt that bad I thought contractions were worse but then again there are some people that push for hours so I feel like that would be worse than contractions if you had to push that long the only thing that really did hurt was her big head coming out of me because <laughs> when it crowned like when she was crowning out of me that stung really bad but it wasn't the worst pain that i would say went with all of this you know so i think for other people it's different and maybe the birth was worse than the contractions but it just kind of depends on your experience i wouldn't be terrified because athena is amazing and babies are going to be amazing and it's the best experience of your life and you're probably going to want to do it again after even though it was so painful so next question, starting to get a little juicy. It is, did you bleed a lot? And someone asked me this because they're gonna be giving birth soon. So they kind of wanted to know like what happens after, what products they would need, stuff like that. So yes, I bled so much and it was crazy. I thought I was bleeding out, that's how much I bled. I went to the bathroom as soon as I gave birth to her and we got in our room and the whole toilet was filled with blood and I called the doctor right away. I was so scared, but they were like, oh no, that's normal, one to three days. Um, it should be like that and then it'll start getting less and less. So with that being said, I bought these like, they're almost like diapers for older people, <laughs> but they helped so much. Like I didn't have to take the pad that they give you and put it on like a liner and then use their underwear. It was all in one. So I can, I think they're called like Depend. It's a Depend brand. And then they're like woman's underwear. They're so nice. Like in that moment yes you don't want to wear them because they're not that cute but they're worth it like you don't even care what's cute and what's not cute because you just want it to be easy when you have a newborn and that was easy for me so if you are looking for something like that and just comment and i'll send you the brand and what i bought and there's different sizes for them too so a, another question i did receive was how did you deal with your baby in the nicu and yes, Athena was in the NICU because she was 34 weeks and six pounds and she wasn't breathing totally perfect. So they took her in the NICU and I think that was the hardest experience for me through this whole process because 
it was COVID and they were very, very strict on what can go on. And I didn't get to see her for like five days because they can only FaceTime. And it was really hard. It was super hard. But I honestly, all you mamas that do have to go through that, like just know it's going to get better and now I have her next to me every day and we spend all the time in the world and they're just trying to help your baby get better and better by the day. Yes, I didn't believe that when she was in there. I didn't care what people told me. I was like, I want her now. She's fine. But now I realize like it was for the better. And any of you mamas who do need help or need someone to talk to, please feel free to reach out because I'm, that's what I'm here for. I wanna help any of you mamas. Okay, so the next question I did receive is, when does your breast milk come in and does it stay like regulated or how does it switch up? So for me, my milk came in as soon as she was born. I did have like droplets come before she was even born, so I knew it was there but it really came in after she was born and I was pumping a lot from the start. And then as time did go on, the milk kind of regressed, but then it came back as soon as I strictly breastfed and is doing great now. And I'm gonna breastfeed until it does go away or until she's done. So probably a year, I would say. Um, it is hard, I'm not gonna lie. Breastfeeding is hard because it consumes you and you have to make sure you're eating good and enough or your milk won't come in uh, there's a lot that goes to it I believe that pumping is the hardest part because you have to like pump and then she'll eat off you or feed her from a bottle or stuff like that so I strictly breastfeed on demand like it's the easiest thing for me I was pumping and feeding her from a bottle and that was very hard I got no sleep so that was something hard for me but every mom's different and either way you do it if you're doing formula or your breast milk, the baby's eating and is healthy. So good for you mamas out of all of you guys. And then to add on to that question, I did get, does it hurt when they eat off you? And for me, no, at the beginning it did, but when she like grabs it and pulls, yes, that hurts. That, I can't even imagine when she has teeth, right? You're crazy. <laughs> All right now, Athena, I gotta put you down because it's about to get juicy. <laughs> so the next question I got was, does it hurt to have sex after you give birth? My answer for this one is absolutely yes. Like guys, it hurts so bad. I, I waited the six weeks until after my checkup, but it was so bad, it felt like I can't even explain like uh, you restarted like everything like <laughs> so be ready for that I don't know if that's for everyone but I was yeah I can't even explain like it was it hurt god bless you it hurt like really bad so whoever asked me that question that's how bad it hurt so the next question I got was, when can you start working out and what did you start doing when you first could work out? So, so you can do breathing exercises um, just to get your swollen stomach to go down. And there's like different things you can look up on YouTube to actually walk you through that process. I can put a link for someone I watched after, uh, but I didn't start really working out until like the fourth week. And that was a mistake. I started bleeding bad again. And I thought I got my period, but it wasn't that because it just kept coming and it was like more than my usual seven days or six days. So don't go too early. Wait till after your six week checkup. You can lift things and do stuff, but don't take it too far because you do have a newborn to help as well. And then, so after that, what I did was I went to my checkup, they said I was good, and then I started doing my workouts, which I did post a video where I lost 50 pounds in three months, which you can watch that, it has some good workouts. You can do them fast, easy, with a newborn, and you can put your newborn right next to you. So they're awesome, check that video out. Let me know if you have any other questions, I can help you with anything. 
So the last but not least at all question that I have received is how have these last five months been and how have you coped with changes in your life? So honestly, these five months have been absolutely amazing. I've got to see her grow and be the little cutie she is. She loves Frozen. She weighs about 16 pounds and she's like the highlight of my days. She always is smiling even though she's a little hungry right now, so I'm gonna have to feed her. But she's always smiling and is so special. I wake up with this smile every morning because of her. Guys, it's the best experience you'll ever endure. And don't be afraid. Just reach out to people who do have babies. Answer, get those unanswered questions that you have answered. And feel free to reach out to anyone with a kid because they will understand what you're going through, even if you don't know them. I am, I'd be so lucky to talk to other mamas, um, something so special and you're never ready until you actually go through it. So don't be afraid if you're young, if you're old, you guys will cope with it really well and figure out what works best for you as the time goes on. Thank you so much for listening again and we do have some awesome videos coming this Sunday and next Wednesday so stay tuned for that. If you do have any questions or need to reach out my Instagram will be on the end of this video and I do have my email on the page so feel free and see you guys soon. Bye! Say bye Athena! Bye!